Dave Svenich. I'm the general counsel for the Council of the District of Columbia. I'm the lawyer for the legislature of the district. The vast majority of the data that I'm working with are legal data. Things like court opinions, uh, administrative orders, regulations, and for me, the law. The DC code and the bills and acts that become the DC code. We're still pretty close to the, to the level of books. It's ugly. Um, most legislation uh, in the district, and this is true unfortunately across the country, is a pretty uh, outmoded venture. It's a lot of paper, uh, it's heavily word processor focused, there's a lot of repetition, there's a lot of cutting and pasting, um, and that is the norm um, and was the norm. At the time, paper is great. The problem is when you're trying to do something either historically or you're trying to actually use data that you know exists in a subsequent document. So for example, one of the things that I spend a lot of my time doing is researching. I want to see what was considered at the council before, what was passed. If I'm trying to do some of that work, if it's paper-based, I've got to actually go back to the record. If it's PDF, if it's searchable, I can try to pull it up. Most PDFs are not searchable. There are lots of ways that we could be doing this better. You could link to the law, you could search for the laws, and it was all available for free and it was fast. And I could use it on my phone. So this is the big one. Um, how can we do this? This sounds so hard. Um, it's not that hard. What it takes is a commitment it takes a willingness to try a few new things, um, but it's not going to cause you to spend days and nights working on this. It's not going to take over your life. In fact, it's the opposite. It's going to free you up to do the rest of your work more effectively. What we discovered is that by spending a little bit of time and energy up front to figure it out, once we published it, it was easy street for us. I think city attorneys have a unique advantage, which is that for essentially low cost, with very little negative consequence, nobody disputes that the law should be made public and widely available, that city attorneys can start really making a difference quickly and both actually be and appear to be innovators.